All right, so uh, in this video, we're going to be, uh, I guess what do you call it, dry firing while on the move. So pretty much got, uh, I don't have a 5.7 on me right now, shocker, but it's in the house, uh, kind of setting up the drills in which I want to go and take you all through as I train for this. But here's, the, here's my mindset behind what I'm doing. So I got two targets set up, you know, left and right. These are your basic qualifying targets for your LTC, ones that we use for training and qualification here in Texas. Standard targets, right? Uh, I have my distance set up here on this chair. Uh, this is about 15 yards. Well, it's exactly 15 yards at the chair corner right here. Uh, so I'm gonna be three yards behind that uh, just because I like a little bit of a challenge. Uh, and if I had enough space to go 25, I would, but I don't in this mini range. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing, excuse me, uh, on the beep, on the beep from the Shooters Global timer, I'm going to move, draw, get on my target, which is going to be uh, drop dead center X, break my shot, win. I confirm that my dot is on that target, I'll break my shot. Not a moment before, not a moment after. <laughs> then I'll reset on the next one, come back and draw, break my shot after everything I just said over there on this target. What this is doing is it's helping me break the stationary mindset that I've been having with training uh, over the last couple of months. I mean, yeah, I've gotten pretty good with stationary target shooting, but in reality, a lot of, from a self-defense standpoint, we're going to be moving. Like, I know that I'm going to be moving. I'm not going to stand still and just shoot at, at, at anything uh, or the person that is, I don't know, God forbid, shooting at me is going to be standing still, uh, which is what I would hope, <laughs> uh, but I'd hope yeah i hope they do stand still or i move and you know get cover it makes it easier for me but need i digress uh the the the, the training method here is to basically shoot on the move train on drawing my concealed carry and pulling it out on the move instead of just beep doing this beep doing this beep doing this now we have to get a little bit of conditioning and training on the move even even on a backup maybe i do like a backup and bang you know backup and bang over here so those are the things i'm going to train today and if you if you're down with this kind of uh idea and content stick around and see how terrible i am at it but notice i will get better and so will you if you do this stay focused uh the time frame that i should be able to do this in uh, I played it for three seconds. I should be able to do it way faster than three seconds, but the first couple of shots will be me just making sure that I can clear the uh, the hoodie because you know I, I'm wearing my regular everyday clothes, right? EDC everyday carry. So I'm wearing these things like I would be out on the street. This isn't something I would do with like a battle belt at the range. This is, I carry this every day. I should be very proficient with this firearm. So. Uh, we're 15 yards from the two targets, and like I said, we're going to go left and right. 10 left, 10 right, and try to dial this thing in, you know, get moving, get that blood flowing. Stay fit. Here we go. You want me to get closer? Uh, I'm going to be coming to you. Okay. I'm doing 10 to the right now. Uh, I did 10 left and uh, my times were terrible. I mean, 
I was sub. Uh, I was sub three seconds for sure. My best time was a one seven eight. I can do better. I've been working with stationary shooting for the longest time, so I have to rewire my brain to when I'm getting ready to move, draw or get that get that uh, whatever I'm wearing, my article of clothing, get that up and out of the way, and then go to present. That's what I'm going to be working on because this, like, this is new. This is new to me. So uh, times are a little slow, but I did get a 178, which is crazy while moving. Uh, my best time stationary is a 101. So if I can get anywhere near that time frame, and again, while aiming on my target, so I'm not pulling the trigger to my dot, my green dot is on that X over there that you can see over there. Let's try this out and see if I can get any better. <laughs> this is this is going into my offhand, so I'm gonna have to really kind of get cranked around, you know, as I go to as I go to turn. I gotta really crank that 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 you know them hips so that I can kind of get square with my target, you know, and break that shot. There's a lot of uh, little details uh, in this line of thinking that you just don't you don't know until until you do it better on I guess on paper drawing from my left than my right but my right actually had a faster time uh, the right time was a 162 mm -hmm. uh, fastest time but overall the majority of my times were better from the left obviously because I'm left-handed and it's easier to you know move left and, mm -hmm. and draw it's a lot harder to move right and draw as a left-hander. A lot of people see this stuff and they think, oh, that's easy, I can yeah, do that. It looks easy. It looks easy, right? Yeah. Until you get out of here and you, actually, you actually do, do it, it. And you realize, dang, like, I can't hit the, the blonde side of a bus. <laughs> uh, I can't get the gun up. <laughs> I can't keep it stable. You know, I, I can't move and target at the same time. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing. <laughs> like, it's, it's really fun, to be honest. Uh, like, it's fun to be training. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'm, but I'm thinking about if I was in situations that will require me to use this stuff how would i be able to do it would i be able to respond to it and the only answer to that i can say is did you train for it you know uh, how's your situation awareness kind of thing so let's uh set up for the left and get back to it stay focused so the the camera guy has a uh has a a modification for the training so let's hear as i was thinking this side he shoots that target that side he shoots that target you want to show him uh, yeah. which targets we're talking about so when he shoots from this he'll shoot there at that target wait i thought i thought, I thought if i was running this way, if I'm moving this way oh like uh that you target. from this side you try to shoot that target, shoot that target yeah right? or Pretty coming far. from this side shoot that target if I'm, if I'm going this way, shoot, shoot there target. yeah you never know what's going to happen in a scenario so true true okay i mean that's a lot of that's a lot of a lot of bending but hey, <laughs> you, it, it can happen. It can. So let's try it. Let's yeah. try it. Yeah. So I'll, I'll roll out. I will, uh, you know, hit the beat, draw, come back, try to get my feet planted right. So I need to work on getting my feet oriented towards my target, mm -hmm. and then I guess, I guess they call it squaring up with my target, and then I would uh, break my shot, and then reset, come back. Boom. Break my shot. Make sure I'm square, more square with my target. Yeah. I don't want to dip. I hate dipping. I want to just bring that firearm up to my face and, uh, you know, break my shot kind of thing. All right, cool. Let's try that. Yeah. Ah, get out. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I like that. Uh -uh. Right. My feet 
feet. You're in here again. So what we got here, uh, can you see that on camera? Yes. Let's bring it in. Uh, fastest time was a one, two, six. I call BS on that. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, nine, five, which is an eternity. One, two, six, two, three, three. I might have to go back and watch set four and see what I did on that one, two, six to, to get that time frame. But I really don't think I got that time frame that fast. I mean, my daggum feet work were, were just all over the place. Uh, this is a this is a good one. This is a good one, I guess. Back across the body, I mean, it's really hard to be moving this way. Turn, get your feet planted. Yeah. I guess, I guess when I go when I'm moving this way, so I'm, I'm sitting like this. And I got this foot back. When I go to turn like this, I need to one. I got to worry about drawing. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm moving this way, drawing, coming back. Can you see how that shirt like gets caught? Yeah. My shirt yeah. gets caught, and I gotta fight through that shirt. To get it out so i'm already have a whole lot of like variables happening like yep. right here so i guess when i turn i need to get, work on clearing this like that yep get this out and then turn back bang break my shot uh, it, there's not that much recoil with five seven. <laughs> so, so i need to i'm gonna work on that i'm gonna go a little slower yeah even if i go over three seconds just to kind of uh build that muscle memory for yep. this this and this that's what i want and then not 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 that <laughs> bending i don't want that bending so again <laughs> we be here 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 and then here that's what i want yeah so let's do that Three. And I messed up that last one. That's why you do it. That's why you train. So, uh, what did we learn from today's episode? Uh, I learned that I still need a lot more training. A lot more training. Uh, I also learned that I'm not as bad uh, as I thought I was. Uh, from what I've been doing from dry firing, from stationary has kind of helped transition with the with the movement left to right uh, because I'm able to get my dot on target even while moving right I have to move and come to a stop uh, I haven't done shooting while moving and I'll do that at the range like so, you know continuously moving while shooting I do at the range but what I've noticed is you know in relatively quick time I was able to get those hips turned around and get my shot get on target and get and break that shot off you know well under three seconds which for the first time doing it I say that's decent though I know that to be really slow because of how fast I know I can draw uh, but a lot of this I'm glad we're doing it because you you're tired and you have to shoot or pull your gun while you're tired you're gonna be slower so I get to see in this state how is my mental state? You know, how am I going to pull this gun? And I, a couple of times I even flagged my, my feet, but I was pointing at what was going on with my feet and not, or it was not where it was supposed to be when I was looking at my target, if that makes sense. But you don't do those things, right? So those are, those are mental fatigue problems that you kind of have to fight through and do things right uh, on the drill that you set up. So I would say to sum it all up, it was a good training day. There's a lot more that can be learned from this and a lot more training that I can do just with moving left to right, getting mobile, uh, that'll help me out in the real world. You know, wearing real clothes, having your wallet and stuff in your back, like you would when you're out. So uh, I get out there and I train that, whatever capacity you have to train, train it. Like I'm in my, in my backyard, my little mini range here. 
this is this is kind of how we're gonna do this so i go out to the range so you know uh all i can say is get fit train